Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. Slightly late. Um, I was about to say Pasta Craft, but no, that's a different show, and you do, <clears throat> you do not want to see me cooking. I got like two things I can make. Uh, you know, I, I can I can ward off starvation, and uh, that's about it. Hi, Auntie Bess. How are you doing today? Last week. Last week I was working on digging out the basement. Oh, and I got a new little structure here. It's just a, a quick and dirty concrete maker. Um, I don't plan on making any concrete just yet, but I've found that this is also really good for fortuning up all the uh, iron and coal ore that I found while doing this project. Um, we'll, we'll get back up to this hot mess over here. Uh... I think it was last week, Arcadius and I were digging out the stairwell. And uh, as you can see, more progress has been made, matter of fact. Uh, <clears throat> this is part of the villager hall, or the villager setup up there that uh, <laughs> I, I kind of forgot was sticking this far down. I might have skipped a floor if I had known that that was going to be taking up one of the hallways. But uh, yeah. So, we'll figure out what to do with that in a little bit. Um, so, here we go. We're, we're adding floors. Uh, this Sweetberry Farm that I got going over here, I'm probably going to move either back into the wall or find... Hello, Beach Duck. Uh, <clears throat> I'm either going to move back into the wall or, or somewhere... Uh, somewhere, somewhere where I don't have a portion of a farm sticking down below the floor. Um, or maybe move it to somewhere else. I, I might even just make a, a larger version of it over in the community center. Uh, but yeah, I, I got this hot mess from the, uh, from the villager set up up there. And I've got the floor template set where you see the stone bricks right there. The, or the, the stone, I should say. I'm going to pick one of the colors for each floor. And I'm definitely going to need some help with that because colors and I, um, well, we don't get along so well. But we've got one floor. This is two floor. Three floor. Oh, other direction. Fourth floor, which I was working on this back hallway here. I changed the design again, again, which also necessitates moving, uh, moving all this stuff back a block. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not like anybody we know <laughs> has a problem with uh, projects needing to just kind of, you know, uh, let's just push that back a block and move this over a block. And uh, a as a matter of fact, I was also thinking as I was setting this up that these outside stairs. So if these are the inside stairs and these are the outside stairs, I'm actually thinking about moving all the outside stairs back one block. It's a thought. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that after I get the colors and the hallway done first. Uh, <laughs> I, I lost count. I, I think, if I remember right, I got seven floors total. Here, let, let's just get back down to the bottom bottom. Uh, so yeah, we get, here's the bottom floor, and this is where I wanted to get a proper access into the community center here. So we've got the spider farm up there, we've got the furnace array over here, and the rudiments of storage that was supposed to get moved to, uh, to the castle, but it hasn't quite gotten there yet. I might take this furnace array and move it back in here so at least it's a little um it's not just plopped in the middle of everything yeah one project at a time sure of course i'll do that <laughs> uh i popped up this hallway i i think i'm gonna do a little arch here i still need to decorate uh the entrance to my side of the mountain um at some point that, that that might wait until a little bit later so these three blocks above the the uh, deep slate the deep slate tile and chiseled deep slate 
the these three blocks are going to be some sort of wall uh, coordinated with whatever color goes in those stone stone spots. I think, maybe. Oh, I've also got some of these uh, lanterns poking about here and there because that reminds me that uh, there'd be caves on the other side that I found out accidentally. <laughs> and I need to go, I need to go alighting a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, let, let, that's what I meant to do. One floor. Two floor. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah, I, I get seven colors that I need to pick out. Um, I've already eliminated a couple of the colors. Minecraft has uh, 16 colors. Yeah, 16 colors. And a couple of them I just... I'm not going to do. Of course, one of them is the cyan terracotta. I'm pretty sure I want to do terracotta for for the corners i mean i could go do concrete i th i've got enough dye i've certainly fished up enough gravel from this project here and i'm pretty sure i've got a fair amount actually let's double check that real quick before i start making promises i can't uh i can't fulfill oh and these guys made trying to build this a nightmare because they're climbing all on top of the work while I'm trying to do it. No, that's the deep slate. There we go. I got almost a double chest of gravel. And I've got at least a double chest of sand. So I, I've definitely got enough gravel and sand to make concrete if I wanted to do concrete instead of terracotta for these corners. Uh, you know what? Should I go ahead and make a batch of each? I might just go make a batch of each. On the other hand, I, I also thought about, you know, making it... Uh, <laughs> uh, one, of, one of the books I was reading recently, you know, the the Dwarven Vault. Each each floor had an increasingly valuable gemstone that it was named after. So, like, I could, I could start here with the quartz floor. And then the lapis floor. And then, you know, go that way. But I don't think, other than the quartz, I, I definitely don't have enough of the precious materials to uh, <laughs> to go just popping it in the floor. Especially especially when we get to the diamond floor. That That's more of an aspirational project. So, let's, uh, let's mix up a batch of concrete for each of these. Uh, I'll take a stack of sand, a stack of gravel... Do I have white concrete already? I feel like I should have white concrete. Yeah, I do have white concrete already. All right. So, let... Oh, you know what? Let's be smart instead of running back and forth. Do I have any light gray concrete? No. Do I have any... I, I'm even a little short on light gray dye. Uh, oh, you know what I probably should also do? Uh, clear out some of the inventory that I'm not going to need while we do this particular part of the project. Oh, I need that. There we go. All packed in a way a box that I'll tuck in the corner and, and kind of sort of forget about. <laughs> um... I'll make up 16 of each. Uh, oh. I did Okay. <laughs> I needed some gray. And some light gray. So that way I could make... Oh, that's right, because I, I can re-dye. All right. Let's make... 16. Let's make... All right, I got black. I got light gray. 
We got gray, black, white, gray, gray, white. Um, do I even want to bother with the brown concrete? Yeah, let's bother with the brown concrete. Let me also get ready to dump some of these dyes back in so that way it's not taking up inventory space. Uh, no, of course I don't have any red concrete. Alright, um... There's the red. Do I have orange concrete? No. Do I have orange dye? No. Not even in the box? Not even in the box. Alright, uh... Yellow and... Oh, hi, friend. And red, right? Yeah. There we go. Hey, I, I, I'm in the middle of something. Uh, orange. All right. Gonna need to grab another stack of uh, concrete and gravel before we get to the end of this. I can't imagine why I don't have lime, any lime green concrete. Uh, <laughs> uh, frankly, I'm surprised I got the lime terracotta and the, the lime glaze terracotta. What did I need lime glaze terracotta for? Never mind. These are questions I, I probably don't want to ask. Uh, let's grab another stack of sand, another stack of gravel. Lime, I need some green. Oop. Not that many. Um, I've already got the cyan terracotta, and I'm a little worried that cyan terracotta and cyan concrete next to each other is going to be a little too same same. So I'm going to leave that out of this for the moment. Um, I hope the light blue concrete is a little more light blue, because that is ostensibly light blue terracotta. It does not look light blue. Like, I'm the last person to judge colors, but that does not look light blue. <laughs> Alright, let's get a couple of stacks of blue concrete. Do I really even want to mess with purple, magenta, and pink? No. No. No, I don't. Ah! Well, you do get to see how the concrete works. So, you mix up the, the gravel, the dye, and the sand, and you, that gets you concrete powder. You can actually place down the concrete powder as a block. It uh, it acts like a gravity block, kind of like uh, gravel and sand itself. Uh, it's why I've got white concrete powder in the door up front. And the interesting thing about concrete powder uh, is that once it comes into contact with water, it turns into actual concrete. So the way this little setup is you fill the dropper with eh, it, this is better for a bulk because uh, th this isn't going to work for, for what I'm about to do. Um, you, you load that up with a bunch of concrete powder and this will pop you another powder every time and you just kind of sit here real quick and farm up the concrete. This won't take long. I was really thinking I would have done this ahead of time. Alright, uh, we don't need the white concrete. Matter of fact, I should probably go put the gravel and sand back as well. Ooh, I forgot how dark the yellow concrete looks too. Made a very nice uh, 
yellow concrete duck in season two. Uh, I'll have to actually one of these days. One of these days, real soon, it might be nice to go back and do a uh, where where we are now and where we were then kind of deal, and look at some of the stuff we did in season two and compare it to similar projects. Or not season two, season one. Uh, season two is a skyblock season, and then compare it to what we've done here in uh, season three. I do. I do have a couple other things that I want to do, but not until I get the server updated to 1.19. Like the the back wall, uh, er, the back wall, the walkway up the backside of my my corner of the mountain. Um, I had started working on a path, and I didn't like the way it looks. And I've been kind of avoiding the project, and I realized that um, what would be really neat is to use some of the mud blocks that are in 1.19 to make it look a little bit more like a, a rough uh, a rough and rugged mountain path and a little less uh, a little less well trod All right. and there's all the concrete that I just put together So now we get to try out some colors. So I just need seven colors. If I stick with terracotta, uh, this is the white terracotta. Uh, it's not bad. I'm not sure what I would do for a wall to match it, but that's, you know, one problem at a time. All right, one project at a time. Um, this is the red terracotta. And I, I think I could actually do a decent job of finding some red stuff that matches there. Uh, the, this is supposed to be light blue terracotta. Some Somebody at Moyang is having trouble with their colors, but, you know, hey. I, I, I don't... Because the cyan has, uh, you know, kind of some blue, bluish in it, that, that light blue really does feel a little too close to the cyan for me. Which looks the red, the white, the light blue. Uh, I do like the yellow with this. I'm not sure what I would do for the wall to go with the yellow, but you know, I'll, I'll cross that bridge. <laughs> oh, the red. All right, uh, that is the red terracotta. Now here's the other question: What if I did? red concrete. I just realized that what I probably ought to do is put a little bit of the uh, terracotta next to it too. So the red seems to be a nice contender. That is the red concrete and that is the red terracotta. Um... I almost like the the concrete better for the contrast, but I kind of like the terracotta because this is supposed to be a floor and it looks a little more worn. Um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and this is supposed to be the white. Oh, the red terracotta. <laughs> I really get a. I'm always worried about stuff despawning, and I, I shouldn't be. I, I can get plenty of terracotta from these guys. Um, that is the white concrete. That is the white terracotta. Uh, the white concrete might not be bad. I don't like the white terracotta. And again, if we're going to go with the terracotta for the worn look, then maybe that one's out. Um, really? The white terracotta? Alright, so let me do this. Let me put that there so we know that that is a potential. Let me put that there so we know that, that is a potential. Um, <coughs> what about the light blue? And again, let's, uh, let's also grab the light blue concrete. Um, alright, I'll run back down and pick those up in a minute. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just uh, sub all these. In. Oh, 
Probably should have done them all on the same side. All right. Um, oh, there is no regular... I guess the brown would be close enough. Although I think I used brown concrete over there, so yeah. All right. Um, some orange. Some lime green. Uh... Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the lime green concrete. Uh, I'm more including it for completeness sake. The green concrete's not bad. Um, I didn't grab pink or magenta. Uh, this is light gray. And then we got brown. And this is gray. Mm, the gray concrete's a definite no-go. And then this is black. Alright, let me go pick up all the stuff that fell down below, and then we'll get back to uh, picking some of this out. I don't know why I say out with a Canadian accent. Maybe it's because I was watching Brad Angove recently. Um, he's the Canadian guitar builder and painter. And more of his stuff is focused on painting and finishing and that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> and he's where I got the tutorial I used this past Friday uh, for for image transfer. Um, let's fill that in real quick. Alright, so the white terracotta is a maybe. The red terracotta is a maybe. What about light blue? Is this anywhere in our possibility? I don't... I don't quite like the way the light blue and the cyan terracotta is sit next to each other but man that light blue concrete is bright that that is a that is a mm, that is a that is a bright color um <laughs> are you saying red is a definite yes I, I i have to say the more i've been walking past it the more it is uh it, the more, the more I do, I do like that. Uh, I'm still not sure about that white. I mean, I trust you, but guess what? <laughs> yes, the light blue terracotta doesn't doesn't match, or or uh, yes, the white should also be a definite. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. Auntie Bess, if you want to chime in on any of this, you can too. <laughs> Waiting for Beach Duck to set the wine down or finish typing with one hand. Oh, oh, okay. Agreeing with the red is a yes, not the, uh, so the white's a maybe. No answers yet on the light blue. <laughs> uh... I kind of like the yellow terracotta. I mean, the yellow concrete isn't bad, but much like a lot of the other concrete colors, it's it's bright. I mean, <laughs> I, I am I am tempted to throw yellow terracotta as one of the more definite definite colors on this one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Atibus. No, nothing but pink. I, I you know, uh, I no. What about the late blue? Is it a no on the late blue, or is this one of those ones where you know, so unsure that it's a uh, that it's a uh, let's see let's see if we got enough seven definites first, and then maybe revisit it if we don't. I 
actually. Yeah, I'm going to come back. Oh, uh, really? The late blue concrete or the late blue terracotta? Because I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. I I was actually thinking that's a little too similar. Oh, the concrete. Okay, yeah, yeah. The late blue concrete does does fit just a little bit better. Yeah, that I can go with. That that was kind of like I don't know. That that's kind of close. Um. Well, since we seem to be going with brighter colors, do we even want to consider the plain terracotta? I mean, that's got a little bit of a, a, a brownish vibe and, you know, kind of a kind of a light brown. And yeah, OK. Ooh, do I want to go from brightest to darker as you go down so in other words like start with something bright like one of the concretes and then uh get them get them darker on the way down <laughs> maybe go from bright to darker or maybe on the plain terracotta I know, I know. <clears throat> All right, so that that's a maybe. Um, not the orange, not the orange concrete, or the orange terracotta. Like I, I was thinking, no on the orange concrete, but that orange terracotta doesn't seem that bad. I I could go for the orange terracotta, especially since orange is like in my logo and everything. But yeah, no, that that orange concrete's a little too bright for this particular project. I, I'll, I'll give you that one. Uh, I, I'm really thinking of nixing the the lime concrete as well because that's. Hmm. All right, we'll throw the orange terracotta up there. Uh, yeah. The, as soon as as soon as I I forgot that the. Uh, I forgot that the lime concrete was this eye-poppingly bright. Like, you know, the 80s called. They wanted their, their they want their color back. <laughs> Although I don't know, Axeman could uh <laughs> Axeman could want a guitar painted like that. Actually, I think he's got one like that. I can't remember if it's that that 80s neon green or the 80s neon yellow. It's one of those two, but you know the color I'm talking about. <laughs> I could kind of go for the lime terracotta, maybe? But definitely not the concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we got two more colors to grab out of this. Are, are we going to put the lime terracotta on the list? Yep, you remember, or yep, put the lime terracotta on the list. <laughs> I keep looking for the coffee that I didn't pour myself, because I'm trying to cut back just a smidge. Oh, I I kind of I kind of figured. I I know I know the Wi-Fi where you're at is not the best. <laughs> And what about the regular green? I could almost go for the regular green concrete or the terracotta. But this one? But not either of these. Concrete or terracotta? Regular was not one of the options. I'd say we need Pink Geek on here, too, to help with the color matching. But then again, I, I think I know which color she'd recommend. <laughs> uh oh.
Yeah. Yeah, her and Auntie Bess would uh, definitely, definitely get along well on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I just need one more color then. Unless we're going to take one as a better option than some of these others. Uh, I'm kind of partial to, to either one, although with the exception of the light blue... We've gone with the terracotta on all the other ones, and I'm tempted to to say lime green. But then again, I don't I don't know that I want two colors that close to each other either. Like, so if I say go to the green floor for something, uh, you're going to be sitting there going the lime green or the regular green. Matter of fact, now that it, now that I say that out loud, let, let's go ahead and just keep the the lime green and skip skip that one. This is the pink terracotta, and it is not, it's not that bad. And that's supposed to be the magenta terracotta. I, I don't, I don't know. Which is that, the pink terracotta? Or the magenta? The magenta? Alright, let me, uh... Oop. I thought I could grab it before it fell. I'll throw that on our list. I mean, technically we have enough, but one of these might end up better, like... I don't... I think the gray might be a little too... Blah. I mean, the gray concrete's not that bad. Or, sorry, this is the light gray. There's a gray and a light gray. Um, the more I look at it, the, the less I am a fan of the light gray terracotta, but I, I could be persuaded on the concrete. Yeah, some of the magenta stuff's not bad. The the <laughs> except for the magenta glazed terracotta. Yes, it's a nice mellow pink, or yes, uh, the the gray is too blah. And of course, by that count, uh, I'm pretty sure the brown might be out as well. Uh, definitely not the the gray concrete here. That that matches a little too much. Peach duck, you're on a delay. I've asked three other questions. Which yes is that referring to? <laughs> oh, the Home Depot anxiety. Yeah, I know that. Um, and here's the kicker. They, there's there's more choices than this. Like, each of these terracottas, you can put in the oven and glaze, and it gives you a pattern. So you can start doing fancy patterns in the floor, too. And, and they've added more and more and more blocks. And on the one hand, I love the choices, but on the other hand, uh, you, you get to little projects like this where it's like, uh, I need to color code floors. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the glazed terracotta, the glazed terracotta looks good, but it's really hard to work with to to find a way to get the patterns to to fit the way the way a way that looks nice. Uh, and some of the patterns like the uh, the magenta terracotta pattern. Now, I, I don't know who thought of that idea. Uh, well, I know what the I know what they were going for. The glazed magenta terracotta is a magenta arrow on the ugliest background and it's supposed to be so you can provide directional arrows for wherever you're going but it's it's not pretty uh we installed a custom texture just for the glazed terracottas to kind of tone down the uh <laughs> the way the way they look um two three four five yeah you know what 
I'm going to go ahead and say let's let's not even worry about the rest. The, like, the blacks, eh. Nah. Even the black terracotta. Uh, if we're if we're trying to stay away from the darker colors, it, it, yeah. If we're trying to stay away from the darker colors, then uh, all the grays and the browns are are going to be pretty much a no go. So I'll go ahead and nix those now. And I guess the question is. What? This pink? I don't think I made any pink concrete, though. No, I didn't make any pink concrete, because the pink concrete's a little... Oof. Uh, the 80s called. <laughs> Again. Actually, now that I think about it, the, the... The devs are... about... about my age? A little younger or at least the guy who works on the textures disco duck <laughs> oh I might do that I might go somewhere and make a giant rubber duck and then and then use the uh, use black wool to get a nice you know do and then try to figure out a way to hang a disco ball over it <laughs> All right, let me let me clear out my inventory again. So now we can work on which floor is going to be for what and then figuring out if I even have enough of uh, all the everything to to make that work. I might, I might need to see if I can get Arcadius away from the game that he's playing to help me install the flooring. Uh, it can be. I, I've definitely... Let, let's just say someone <clears throat> may, may have had a little bit of fun installing statuary in, in other people's bases. I don't, I don't know who would do such a thing. But it is possible that it's been done. Alright, so if we're figuring out which floor is going to be which... Um, oh, before I forget... Just, just to give you an idea, some of the other, some of the other blocks that we got to work with. I, I think we're going to go... I, I'm going to stick with the, the ones we have, but just... You know, to kind of give a wider view of the game, we, we've got stuff like, um, that's white glazed terracotta. We've, we've toned down the texture a little bit on our server, so you can combine a bunch of them in different ways to get, uh, to get some different designs, but it's hard to work with because you, you've got to kind of, the way it looks depends on which angle you're looking at. Uh, there's supposed to be three or four different different designs in each bit of terracotta, but again, that that's that's a level that I'm not quite I'm not quite at yet. Um, I've got some. We got our. Oh, see, that's not right. Is it this way? That, that's the way. This is the way. Um, you know, that's our late gray glazed terracotta. And each each color has its own unique pattern along with it. Um, ostensibly related to it. Um, the gray terracotta is not bad. I Beach Duck will remember I used a lot of that in one of the... Uh, in the ocean monument project where, where I made my, my little, uh, angry fish farm and did a lot of work with, uh, with those types of patterns. What else was there? Uh, 
the black terracotta. I know Rest has worked with a lot. Nope. Um, this way? Yeah. No. And now you begin to see the problem of working with the glazed terracotta. <laughs> So, you know, you get that one with the square. There's another one with those corners on the inside. And there's a, a third pattern with these guys on the inside as well. Some people, some people like uh, Cub Fan, have gotten amazingly talented at combining the patterns from different terracottas. And, and doing just amazing stuff with them. Yeah, and again, that's... I, I'm, I'm still at the basic coloring blocks. <laughs> I don't know much of the red terracotta. And, and to be honest, most, most of my work with the glazed terracotta is not for designs uh, most of my work with the glazed terracotta is in redstone things because uh, sticky sticky blocks like slime and honey don't stick to glazed terracotta so if you need something like you know, I've got some gray terracotta that we're going to work around in a minute and uh, the whole reason why it's there is because I got slime blocks that need to not stick to the wall. And that's the that's the sole reason why they're there. They're not, it's not for any decorative purpose. It's for uh, the functional. <laughs> I think I did one of those wrong. I think I did a couple of those wrong. Yeah, some of these get really busy. And again, th this is a uh, the designs that you're seeing live on stream are some toned down designs that we installed as a custom texture pack. So these aren't these aren't the default terracotta textures. Uh, <laughs> we 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 kind of we kind of toned them down a little bit. I love whoever put what is suggestive of a lime wedge on the lime green terracotta. That that's uh you know, that's a nice touch. And you can have all sorts of fun with these. I love the cyan terracotta. The cyan concrete, but the the cyan, um, the glazed cyan just seems, I don't know, a bit, a bit much, which is a shame. I feel I feel like I ought to like that one. Get that green in there, the cyan in there. The light blue is not too bad. Nope. Uh, nope. Um, there we go. There's one of the patterns in there. Yeah, this is one of those things that, yeah, maybe is an accent or, or maybe I can use some of the, uh, ooh, maybe I can use some of this on the wall design. Like, uh, okay, that, that's, a, okay, that's a possibility. Um, you use the, um, oh, hi, zombie. Zombie's knocking at my door. Yeah, you get some fun ones with the blue. Th this looks really nice when you're building, uh, pools and that, and fountains and that sort of thing. 
Uh, if I remember right, that's what Arcadius used in the bottom of the fountain in Season Zero. Yeah, the purple... The, I don't know, the purple's a bit much. Oh, that's right. Um, ah, there we go. And then... Like that. There we go. The, uh, that's the purple. <laughs> well, since I am on a snow-covered mountain, maybe I put a frozen duck pond up there? <laughs> what, the purple? Yeah, the purple is a little bit. Uh, and again, th this is the, uh, th this is that magenta... That, that's just... I know what they were trying for. But... No. No. I mean, we do need a block with an arrow. Or some way to designate, you know, go this way or go that way. Um, but I, I don't know. It just doesn't... The pink's not... Not too bad on the glazed terracotta. Still a little bright. But uh, now what I was thinking is, so like, uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me put this back before I forget. So I got the orange terracotta. So, oh yeah. <laughs> So, like, we'll put the orange terracotta in the floor and then do maybe uh, some sort of wainscoting or some sort of dividing line here and then work on a or work on a on a design and then work on a glazed terracotta design for the wall and see if I can find something that works either three high or or find a, an intermediary that can sit between the the chiseled deep slate and the terracotta although I could always move the chisel up one and just give myself a band of two blocks to work with but uh let's get the let's get the floors in first and then go from there the 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 distraction is uh <laughs> the addo butterfly is is real today And again, hopefully I can get Arcadius to help and in install the flooring. That would be very helpful and very nice. All right, so uh, so what order are we going to do this? Like, do I want to make the... Are we, are we going to go, like, uh, red, orange, yellow? Uh, Roy G... And then do it like that, and then have the white terracotta on the bottom floor, and... I kind of feel like the light blue should be the f the first basement floor, just because it's the brightest of the colors. But then again, that's not exactly a very bright floor to begin with, either. And the bright blue could also be the the bottom entrance, anyway. Or do we just do, uh, good old Roy? And then tag the white at the end. <laughs> or, or, or leave the white at the top. I don't know. Yes, no, maybe, kind of, sort of. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we'll make that the red floor. We'll make that the orange floor. 
We'll make that the yellow floor. This will be green. This will be blue. This will be magenta. And the bottom floor will be white. Now, <laughs> here's the fun part. Do I... Do I have enough resources to actually accomplish this particular plan of mine? Thank you, Auntie Bess. Have a good night. Uh, no, Disco Floor is not going in on this one. Alright, so I need the red terracotta, and I need to see if I got at least a couple stacks? Question mark. <coughs> Oh, I might be okay. And if nothing else, I got plenty of red dye. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to work from the bottom instead of from the top. Uh, just because I know I'm going to want to collect all the blocks that I knock off anyway. So, oh, that's... uh. That's not the right floor to be doing that on, anyway. Uh... Oh. Am I gonna want to do that for the... for the hallway, too? Let's try how that looks first. Maybe I need to, uh, maybe I need to push the walls out just a little bit further. stuff on this one. The focus was real. <laughs> I still gotta get... I, I listened to my normal Tuesday podcasts, but for the life of me, I couldn't tell you what a one of them had to say in terms of major stuff. The The only big one, though, was uh, Brian Brushwood on Cord Killers. Um, they were in Spoiler in Time, and I forget which show they were talking about, but he says, oh, no, it was in the main show. It was in the main show, and he said that... Uh, a, a particular scene in one of the shows really kind of hit hard uh, where somebody gets a chance to see their adult child and talk to them. And he goes, oh, and in a completely unrelated note, my oldest daughter is getting ready to go to college for the first time in 36 hours. And it was just one of those kind of nice, like, aww. Uh, Penny Brushwood also... <laughs> Um, she graduated a semester early and wanted to start working on her creative writing. So Brian, being the supportive father, said, All right, I will commission your first book. And it needs to be appropriate for your nine-year-old sister. <laughs> and Penny Brushwood wrote a wonderful children's book and illustrated it. 
and Brian's hoping that this will uh, this will help her <laughs> buy her college books because if we all remember, college books ain't cheap. I mean, at least at least with uh, you know the the fundamentals of art and design and creative writing haven't really changed. Because uh, I, I know that was one of the things that really frustrated me in the computer sciences. Like, some of my books were out of date before we even finished the semester. Oh, I'm going to need... If a stack only got me a row and a bit and I've got... Uh, <laughs> I think I might need to make a trip out to the Mesa and see what... Uh, go grab some extra terracotta because I have a funny feeling we're going to need it. I mean, I can keep selling stone to those guys up there and hoping that I don't run out of dyes. Most of the terracottas we're working with, I've actually got a decent supply too. Alright, that's red. That is not red. Yeah, I do. I do not miss. I do not miss uh, paying for textbooks. Oh. Okay, the village people are kind of getting on my nerve with the how you doing. I, I might have to uh I might have to go clear those guys out in a minute. <clears throat> oh, and I, I don't know I don't know what your uh commercial experience on Twitch has been, but apparently Twitch is changing the way they run commercials and changing the revenue split with partners. Um, and even then, a lot of that depends on how many people you reach on the regular. But they're, they're running more commercials at the start. They're going closer, oh, closer adjacent to a 50-50 split. And I'm going to need at least one, two, three, four, four and a bit stacks of red. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, I completely forgot where I was going with all that. Somewhere in there was the kernel of a thought. The kernel panicked. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's go see how much red terracotta I can go ahead and pillage from the, uh, from the Mesa. I know Arcadius did a bunch of digging, and so there should be a fair amount of... There should be a fair amount of, uh, terracotta up there, and I can, I can always re-dye it, too, so that's, that's not a bad... Oh, I probably should have actually waited until it was time to sleep. Hmm. The things you forget about. Oh good. There is a bed here. Uh, somewhere around here is... There we go. Uh, 
that's orange, which I will need. Oh. <laughs> that's all the red terrac. How do we got there? Uh, what, what do we have in abundance? Oh, was that white terracotta? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for good measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for good measure. Maybe I'll go take care of those and then uh, and then go from there. You know, I keep forgetting that I intended to put a stairway up to this portal. That was uh, that was on my to-do list. No, actually, it wasn't on my to-do list. I forgot to I forgot about it so much. I forgot to put it on my to-do list. Which way was the path? I also kind of forgot that I that I didn't do the back half of uh, this either. I gotta do that. Not today though. Stairway to a charcoal sketch. I still gotta finish the uh, squid farm too. I think I still get, I still think I gotta drop that down a little bit. I know what you meant. I gotta build a stairway to the portal. <laughs> of course, those portals sure don't take you to heaven. I swear, one of these days, I'm going to retexture all the chickens into ducks. There'll be ducks who go cluck, but, you know. <laughs> Although, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I could re redo the... Uh, maybe I could redo the audio on that. I don't know. I have to try that. All right. Uh, one of these floors was white terracotta, right? I think it was... Yeah, that's right. It was the ground floor. The floor that needs the least amount of work. Yeah, white terracotta, white terracotta. All right, let's... Uh, oh. Someone didn't think through their space. Let's hope I can uh, finish up a stack of terracotta before the stack of stone disappears. thing is that with all this extra stone from digging this up I can trade with the village people for more of the terracotta as this goes. I don't know that I'll be able to get a straight one for one on this one but it'll, uh, it'll definitely definitely help. does look a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, ostensibly, this is white. There we go. Let's try to pick all this up before it disappears. I don't know why I'm worried about running out of stone either, because it's not like... It's not like we don't have a bunch, and it's not like I can't put together a cobble generator and a furnace array 
and get more stone out of out of nothing. Um, yeah, it is still nice. And then I'll have to look at I'll have to try to figure out what to do with the walls. But uh, let, let's get a little bit more of the let's get all the flooring in first. I did make another pass at the image transfer on the guitar I was working on Friday and that is looking much better than the last attempt. Um, the thing that I did differently and I'll, I'll talk about this on Friday too but the thing that I did differently is I put a thicker coat of the polycrylic and instead of using a scotch brite pad to remove the paper I just used a wet rag. It took a little more effort, and honestly, when I looked over the video, even though Brad said use a Scotch-Brite pad, he used the sponge side of one of those combo combo deals that you usually see at like your your local store or whatever that a lot of people buy for their you know their kitchen cleaning dishes and that kind of thing. Um, and so he ended up using uh, just the sponge side. And I think between the two of those, I definitely got a better transfer. Now, the image transfer is not just for the image itself. I like I'm not gonna I'm not doing the transfer and then leaving it there. I'm doing the transfer and using that as the template for routing. And I hope to get the routing done uh, tomorrow or Thursday. I've got a bunch of stuff going on in the next couple of weeks and uh, so I, that's why I sound a little cautious about that because I'm not I might I might not be able to get to it also I still need to fix the inlay on the Anonicaster and that was a bit of frustration last night because I kept trying to I kept trying to get the the mirror image of the original design and for whatever reason, every time I flipped it to the mirror image, <laughs> um, the the program would actually not only flip it, but make it just a little bit bigger. So I couldn't get a mirror image of the same size because I was hoping to do the image transfer to get some better lines to work with for cleaning up the inlay. Um, I'm going to try to to use a more narrow bit on the Dremel and some of the carving tools and see if I can if I can clean it up. But if if it ends up looking too too bad, I might talk to the client about possibly uh, putting a facet in that coincidentally will remove the original inlay work and then do a try the inlay a second time. And then this is one of those like I I only get the one extra chance, so it better better come out right. No pressure. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna run back up up the stairs and drop off some of the stone before I go too much further. Just because I want to make sure that uh, I get a little more slack space in my inventory to work with. Because I don't think this next part's gonna take a full stack. It's looking like for the room itself, it's a stack per two rows. But this will this will actually help me figure out how many of each each type I need to do. So like I'm gonna need three and a half stacks of each color, which means I grabbed way too much of the white and orange. So I might I might have enough as long as I'm ready to to re dye a lot of stuff. I just need three and a half stacks of each uh, each color. Uh oh, I missed a stone. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. 
All right, either way, I'm going to go ahead and trade with the village people to uh, get some emeralds from the stone. And of course, it's three and a half stacks just for the floor. I'm going to need more for the back hallways on some of the odd numbered floors like yeah, this one here for the green and under construction. And this one here, and of course I'm going to need the top part too. So yeah, I guess I am going to need a little bit more of each of those for some of this. But I'll 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 burn that bridge when I get there. Plus, trading with these guys to to get the emeralds also gives me a chance to uh, come on. So no, because you're being... Okay. That wasn't the inventory space I was hoping to free up. But, I mean, that's a slot? Well, no, because I can toss the emeralds in there. That gives me a little more to trade with. I'll toss the stone in there. That gives me three blocks worth of space to, to work with. And actually, I can go ahead and dump um, those in there for now. Okay. That gives me a little more to work with. Wait. Is that the sword I thought it was? Oh, okay. <clears throat> For a second I thought I had one of my smiting, smiting swords. Let's finish this up, and then I know I know I'm gonna need a little bit more when I go rebuild these hallways because each of these is gonna have to go back a little bit. Although, no, there's not gonna be any any further. There's not gonna be anything further back on this one because that would only apply if I had another floor to go down. Okay. So this one's going to need the least amount of space, which is kind of good. work hasn't been too bad. Had a really nice PRS come in where somebody uh, somebody was trying to lower the pickups and they lowered the pickups below the reach of the height adjustment screw and so they just needed some help uh, getting the pickups back to mounted correctly. And it's one of those things that I thought would be an easy job but the <laughs> man... PRS put in some springs that have uh, a lot of spring to them. Like, a lot. Alright, so there's the there's the white floor done. Except for the walls, but that, that'll come next. Um, which one do I have on hand? I've got orange, so let's go ahead and bump up to orange and move that ahead of the lot. Nope, not, not green... Not yellow. There we go. The orange floor. That's right. Okay. Because I'm going to need this side too. And I know some of these I won't have to worry too hard about. Um, the floor design. Oh, camera. Of course, this isn't going to be a good guesstimate on these uh, style floors because I got the big machinery for the the villager, the villager stuff. Although I'm trying to figure out if I, I really need to keep that running right now. I might, uh, I might go ahead and clear out the backlog. 
if, if you catch my drift. And uh, and then just get the two farmers to kind of chill there until uh, until I need some people again. I still need a proper on-off switch for the farm anyway. And I might go ahead and take that as an opportunity to like redesign and move it. Although it is really convenient having that right there. Because that's close enough to most of the places I would want to put it. Uh, is this one I'm going to... Yeah, this is one I'm going to want to do from the other side. Alright. Let's finish up the orange floor. I haven't really done much in the way of pranks either. I mean, I was tempted to take all the iron blocks that we had and make a giant clippy out of it, but then I realized that I, I don't I don't know that I could uh, I don't know that I could do that on scale ver at, at scale very well. And I don't think anybody else has been on this server much lately. Uh, there's been a lot of No Man's Sky going around. Which sounds kind of interesting. Uh, I'm I'm told I would really enjoy it. I don't. I'm not sure because I was also told that I would really enjoy seven seven ways to die, and uh, that is not. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't call that one of my favorite games. I mean I'm happy I tried it, but. Uh, Seven Days to Die has um, a little bit too much of the horror survival thing going for it. And I just, I'm not, I'm not a big horror survival person. Well, I, survival, yes. But I'm not big on the horror element. And that just, I don't know. That part doesn't, doesn't really appeal to me. Trying to race the clock until the horde comes every seven days. I think when it comes down to it, that really is the part that just, like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. And I mean, uh, and... And I'm, I've been trying to figure out why why Seven Days to Die doesn't appeal to me, but Fallout 4 does. I mean, you've got the radiated zombies and the survival aspect. Although, uh, for much of Fallout 4, it really does feel more like a joke. Does that make sense? Like, I, I mean, yes, it is. It, it is a very serious... They're dealing with serious things, but in a funny way. If that makes any sense at all. No. Oh. It's like, man, that's an odd number to be... Alright, um... I mean, it's not quite, um, oh, what was that game that you and Seth Stryker, uh, Borderlands. Uh, it's not quite Borderlands level of not taking itself seriously, but, uh, it, it's definitely closer to that. I mean, nobody's offered me a pimento taco in, uh, in Fallout. I'm pretty sure there might actually be some legal action between the studios if they tried to. Although, no, don't don't they both come from Bethesda? Or, you know, from Zenimax, since that was the parent company that owned Bethesda. 
That, that might be one of those things I'd have to go back and look up. I may not get too much more done. Only because it is... Uh, I've had a change in medication. Which has been a definite mix of some good and some not good. And I can feel another headache coming on. Which is part of the not good. I've been getting a lot of a lot of headaches from it. I, I think it's really more of a. Uh, it's been fussing with my blood pressure, and that is why I've been getting headaches. I'm going to give it a full two weeks before, you know, just to see if it's one of those things that that it's only a problem in the beginning, and then once uh, once you get a little bit further in, you're doing better. But I, uh, yeah, that that gives me till Thursday. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Gesundheit. You didn't even have to be on mic and I heard that over here. <laughs> with the oops. There's no oops. So if you really wanted to help out, an extra set of hands would be kind of nice. Nah. Probably not at this point. Because at this point, I, I, I'm probably going to... I keep saying just a little bit more like I'm probably going to finish this, but this might also end up being one of those yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna finish this floor. And then I start the next one because, uh, you know, I mean, it's right there. I got the stuff on me. I might as well go ahead and finish that one too, right? Right? I, I know that's so unheard of. No, nobody would nobody would ever do that and just kind of just one more themselves a little bit further into the project. Why do I have an odd number of stone yeah yeah see Peach Chuck knows what I'm talking about nobody would ever do that that's just weird oh, I wonder if the stones is actually sitting up on the uh, on the floor above me too because it doesn't look like it's around here Then again, that's how I got most of these floors uh, finished in enough time. <laughs> Over the weekend, I said I was gonna I was gonna do two floors, and then I was gonna work on the inlays. Three floors later, I mean I'm I'm already that close to the third floor, and I just started the next YouTube video, so I might as well go ahead and do the third floor. And then the third floor is done. I'm like, well, I mean, lunch is coming up, so may maybe instead of maybe instead of 
getting wrapped up in inlay work while, while lunch is that close. I might as well go ahead and do another floor. And, uh... <laughs> Which is totally weird, right? Yeah, I think some of the stone I need is up on the on the next floor up. Let me let me finish this and we'll see if we'll see what's left for me to pick up. Yeah, no comment. No, no idea where I got the, just, just one more, just one more part of the project. I'll, I'll just get this one last thing done. I, I just need to do this one more thing. to get the uh, the parts caster finished. I, I'm not intentionally stalling on that. Some of it is uh, energy and focus. I spent far more time than, than I probably should have being frustrated by the printer last night. But then again, it, it, it's that, you know, end of a weird day kind of stuff. Like the person who wanted me to change the strings on their guitar and they sent me the wrong... They sent me. They sent me a pack of strings for a twelve string, not a, not a pack of strings for the six string that they needed worked on. Which I mean, I I kind of get that. The the if you're not paying attention, the packaging is close enough that it's not too hard to make that mistake. That's uh, that's a lot of orange. Don't, I don't have a regular terracotta floor, so let me go ahead and, you know, I just need, how, how much red terracotta do I need to finish that job? And then I can call it a night. I just need one stack, two stack, and a little bit. Two stacks and a little bit of red terracotta. It's getting there. It's getting there. stack, two stack, and a half stack. That should be enough. Especially since I already had some on me that I completely forgot about. Uh-oh. The other nice thing is that uh, if I run out of terracotta, I can use these emeralds that I'm accumulating to buy more terracotta from the villagers. Um, here's another red terracotta. Let me go ahead and get a couple more emeralds out of these guys. Because I have a funny feeling I'm going to need it when the time comes. Yeah, see, that guy actually sold orange terracotta, so I didn't need to... I didn't worry too much about that. All right, let's get that in there, that in there, and let's let's go ahead and just finish up the red. Finish up the red, and then call it a night. All right. <laughs> me. 
the <laughs> I forgot that they did that when they died. All right. There we go. Yeah, because that would have been a, that would have been a hazard. We we don't we don't want to have uh, falling hazards in these floors. And that'll also clear up all the the hot the hot mess of color palette that I had going there for a minute. Man. Uh, that, that is a lot of orange. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the ceiling too, because just uh, not that ceiling, but just like the ceiling above that one. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and detach the camera for a second. So, like, I've got the the brick wall running across there. I I want to figure out some sort of wall that I can run there, and then some sort of two tone pattern to cover it so that way like here I've got that pattern on the roof but a different pattern on the floor in the same here where I got that pattern on the floor but the roof looks a little bit different so that way this red terracotta isn't bleeding into the orange room uh, so I'll have to I'll have to figure figure something that'll work on that and I think whatever I end up using for the wall, the law, oh, <laughs> whatever I end up using for the wall along that, those strips, I definitely want to keep that part consistent between the floors. And I'm thinking of turning to the regular deep slate and doing maybe the deep slate tiles to kind of tie in the tiles there with the roof design and it's just a matter of figuring out what kind of what kind of slab pattern to do for the rest although uh, since that is going to be a pattern of slabs that does limit the options a little bit is I don't I don't know what um I, there's not enough slabs in the game. Mo Yang, you hear us? Concrete and terracotta slabs, stairs, and walls. Please. Please. Although, I'm willing to bet that this is one of those, like, the, this is one of those older parts of the code that nobody really wants to work on. Every every program has that. Every every program has this bit of legacy code that is so gnarly that it works. Nobody knows why it works. Nobody knows how it works. They don't care because it works. And nobody wants to be the one to touch it because they don't want to be the guy that broke it. They don't want to be the one who took something that was working perfectly well and in the process of enhancing it, they broke everything. I kind of get that. I really do. Um, but I mean, they they also pay their their developers pretty well, so you know, it wouldn't be impossible for them to, I don't know, work in something useful, <laughs> like terracotta slab stairs and walls. Yeah, you know, it could be it could be part of the next parody update. Let me get this multicolored mess cleaned up at least. Because I think I'm going to go dump all the extra color. Oh, yeah, because I ran out of room. Oh, of course I did. Let me go clear out a little bit of inventory space. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to be close enough that that'll stay loaded. So, we'll see. The yellow, the light gray. Red, light blue. Alright, there we go. That'll give me enough space to work on for the next bit. I also need to work on the uh, soundproofing for... Uh, 
my microphone. I think I could do a little bit better noise gate so that way kitchen stuff doesn't get picked up. Um, some of that would also be improved by putting a uh, sound dampening curtain of some sort. Because my, my, my setup's in the weirdest place. And it really would be nice to, to fix some of the sound management. I mean, look, when you look at some of the pros, they're, they're working out of the closet in the master bedroom. Uh, literally. So they, they, they've got the clothes that are, are working as the sound dampening. There's no AC in there. So it's hot and sweaty, but you get crisp, clear voice. So, I mean, it could be that. It could be worse. I, I could not be enjoying AC right now. Um, which, yeah, especially here lately, I, I've been a little more sensitive to the heat. I don't know if that's a side effect or what. Um, we'll see on that part. Actually, I might do that. I might try to make my own soundproof curtain. Um, I've got enough tools that I could definitely build. Well, I mean, who has enough tools? <coughs> Said no one ever. Um, I've got enough tools that I should be able to put together a decent frame. And... Maybe, maybe some, a rail or something, or some sort of frame to draw a curtain of overlapping towels. Because I, I know towels actually make a surprisingly good sound dampening setup. I, I, yes, you can spend tons of money on the acoustic foam, uh... Which does work, but I forget who it was. Somebody, somebody had run a test where they tried different materials, and they they actually took the decibel meter, and you know it really just it worked out better. It worked out just as good as some of the some of the sound dampening products. Maybe not top of the line sound dampening foam, but for the cost of a couple of big fluffy beach towels. I mean, we're, we're not talking about a lot of out-of-pocket there. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to finish the Red and Call it a night, because, yeah, that's... I can definitely feel the headache coming on. I probably should... I probably should have been using my gaming glasses, too. I... Uh, I don't like the way they reflect, uh, I don't like the way they reflect off the ring light. At some point I'd like to invest in a couple of decent, uh, key lights. Or light panels. Um, I don't know, I don't know what's worth buying though. I'm still so new to the, the lighting and the video end of this. I'm used to running sound for a band, you know? Uh, there's a lot of stuff you don't have to worry about on that side of things. Like, you don't have to worry about the lights. That's somebody else's job. All right, so the orange is done. The red is done. That's actually not that bad. That's not bad at all. I feel like I'm missing some blocks. Yeah, and I'll... I don't know if I'll put a wall up here or a door and make that another room. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. i got to get those guys moved out because most of those farms, it's not worth the space. Uh, the potato carrot's not bad so long as you keep that full of bone meal. But the, the wheat farm just, I mean, it's not producing. And same for the beetroot. I'm getting far more beetroot seeds than I am beetroots. And especially when it comes to the wheat, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a lot of wheat when we get to 1.19 because that's when the mud 
and mud bricks come out and you got to mix wheat with mud to make the to make uh whatever it is that you use to then get mud bricks and uh yeah that, that's uh that's a doozy there all right let's get those guys in there for now I'm going to keep a hold of these because now we're getting into where I'm just going to re-dye a bunch of the other stuff. Oh, there goes my emeralds. All right, that's all right. They're not going anywhere. They're just going into storage. Not the loom, the box. I'll drop those in there. All right, this stuff's going to happily churn away. I just realized that I ran all that concrete through into... Oh. Did uh, did I really run out of room for tuft? I did run out of room for tuft. I thought I had a box for tuft. No, that's over by uh, that's over by the nether roof project. Okay, <laughs> I, I should probably go finish that so I can get my box back for for some of the some of the overflow stuff. Um, oh yeah, and I got a bunch of I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with all those extra blocks of coal. Um. I might, I might toss them into the space that's never going to get filled by blocks of diamonds anyway. Uh, or something. I, I got to get all the concrete uh, situated, but I'll, I'll do that after this is finished running and sorting. All right. There we go. That's the button I was looking for. It took me a minute. So this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Coffee Craft is every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Well, 6.30 adjacent. Just depends on when I get out of work. And Fridays uh, for at least next week is going to be the Parts Caster guitar build. Uh, there might be another another one on that because somebody, somebody has trouble estimating time and figuring out how much time it takes to do, to do projects. Uh, don't know who that is, though. So we'll, we'll see. I, I really want to be doing the final setup and play test on the parts caster this coming Friday. That would be awesome. But some of that depends on how much I can clean up the Anana caster uh, headstock inlay and uh, how long it takes me to do the back inlay as well. So that that might that might have to wait a minute too. But we'll see. Um and then I don't know what's going to take up the Friday slots after that, but there will be something on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, or, well, 6.30 adjacent, depending on when I get out of work. And uh, follow along if you haven't already. That way you'll know when I do go live and have fun. Enjoy. We're going to go raid... We're going to go raid Skizzleman. Looks like he's playing some Minecraft. He's probably working on uh, he's probably working on uh, the uh, the next Skyblock project that Impulse and Skizzleman are doing together. I, I would raid Impulse, but it uh, I don't know. I love them both. They they're both wonderful. So let, let's go say hi to Skizzleman, and I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid.